Here we are again on the BackWPUp dashboard. Step number two is to create a job. This correlates to the Add New Job in the left here. I'm going to just click Jobs first. And you can see we have none here. We click to Add New. And we have some options. I'm going to call this Daily Database Only. Job tasks. This job is a database backup. Yes, I'm going to uncheck file backup. I don't want a WordPress XML export. It would be handy to have an installed plugins list. And I'm going to check the database tables to make sure they're all set. Now you'll note that when I clicked that box, a tab appeared in the top. We'll do it again. The other check boxes do similar things. And we'll look at those later. Here's where we determine how backup files are named and as well as how they are compressed. I like bzip2 a little bit better. It's a bit smaller than gzip files. And then where do we want this to go? I haven't set up any remote services yet, so I'm going to choose backup to folder for now. And then there are some information about log file configuration for this particular job. So for this job now, let's take a look at the schedule. Now we can choose to run this job manually only, or with WordPress cron, or with a link. If we switch to WordPress cron, then we get a little scheduler here. Switching to a link gets rid of that. I'm going to do manually only right now. It's possible to start your job with WPCLI, which is a command line tool for WordPress. I'm not going to get into that right now. I'm going to hit Save Changes before I proceed. Now let's look at our DB Backup tab. Here are all my database tables. I actually have quite a few because I have a number of installs. Over here on the right you can see that by default it knows that I want to back up just for this one blog. But if I wanted to, I could back up my entire database. And here is where I can name my SQL file for my backup, and I can choose Backup File Compression. I'm going to leave it at None. Now let's look at the Plugins tab. This is simply going to make a text file which lists my active plugins. You can name it anything you like, and you can choose a compression format. DB Check is actually cooler than it may sound. MySQL, the database that WordPress uses most frequently, has some very, very efficient tools for checking the stability of its database tables. And this plugin can make use of that. It can even try to repair a defective table. Now, earlier I told it I wanted to back up to a local folder. And here we are. It's going to be in my Uploads folder. Just like that. So now I'll save changes and go back to Jobs. And now you can see I have a daily database only backup. Its next run is set to inactive because I told it I wanted to do it manually. So now I'm going to click Run Now. And there we are, that's all there is to it. Unless you have a tremendous amount of content, database backups are usually very small and fast. Now on the left, I have a backups link, and there you can see my backup. I'm going to download it. And there we are. In the next video, we'll do a weekly full backup.